Well, in the war against addiction in Putnam County, officials have two new sources to help in the battle. News 12's Karen Pinto tells us what the funds will be used for. In 2012, Susan Salamone lost her eldest of four children, Justin, from a drug overdose when he was 29 years old. He loved being a big brother. He really loved it. She helped found the nonprofit Drug Crisis in Our Backyard, which provides recovery resources for families who have loved ones battling addiction, while nothing will bring her son back. To me, you, there's not enough money. I lost my son, okay? There's not enough money that can be given to offset the loss of a child. Salamone was a member of the Putnam County Opioid Settlement Work Group, which advocated where big pharma settlement funds should go. It was very important that the, the fund becomes secure to be used only for prevention, treatment, harm reduction, support services. Uh, and it happened. We, we made it happen. County Executive Mary Ellen O'Dell has helped to fight the war on addiction since she has taken office. I took it on because I knew that Big Pharma had to be held accountable for the crisis that they created. At the same time, Putnam is receiving two and a half million dollars as part of the American Rescue Package to create a crisis stabilization center, a first for the county. A stabilization center is a place that, you know, really takes care of the entire person and the family, adults and children. The center would be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week for adults and children to have access to health providers. I'm quite confident that as I close, the door on December 31st that the team that we put in place will carry on that mission as well. And that was Karen Pinto reporting. Well, the county is currently in negotiations with Putnam Hospital to put the stabilization center on those grounds.